Yo, welcome back to the VSC4 channel. Wingness, what's going on? What's happening, man? Listen, thank you guys for checking out the channel. I do appreciate it. Click the like button, click the subscribe button, and check out some more videos coming up. All right, you see the title in the thumbnail. Before you buy a Junkyard 4.6 double over cam, you got to figure out a few things. But before we talk about that, let's go talk about this car here. Now also with this man, I made a blunder. I was gonna put an intercooler here and everything and then some guys were giving me some ideas of putting the intercooler like the Subarus and 2.3s right here. So what I would do is, you have this directly going here. You put an intercooler probably around this big, from this big here, and then run it right into there. I can get my hood scoop. It will be functional because it has function now. That's what I want to do. Now, let's go ahead and talk about some engines. Before you buy a junkyard 4.6 double overhead cam, you got to figure out a few things. Number one, go to the junkyard. Now, you find a aviator. Something gotta be wrong with the truck. Hopefully it was running. So when you look at this engine, this engine may not run. It looks a little tattered, but for $150, you really can't beat this. Where can you find the block heads and all of that? The heads alone are $300, but that's besides the point. To get this to run in your Crown Victoria is gonna take a little bit of finagling. You're gonna definitely need the injector harnesses and the, um, the COP harness and all of that stuff. You're gonna need that stuff. Does this thing run? You don't have a clue. You don't know. When you're looking for one of these engines, you want to make sure you get a 0405 Aviator. Those are going to be the best bet. Those has the revised heads. They're going to have DB stamped on them. That's the ones that you want. But if you get a 996, whatever the heck, you're going to be needing a cooling bypass situation. I don't care. If you got a Marauder, you're going to need this. If you got an Aviator, you need this. If you got a Lincoln, you're going to need this. If you got a Cobra, you're going to need this. This is an essential thing you're going to need on your build if you have a double over a cam modular engine. Got to get that. Now, this may work, this may not work, but we have other options out there also, like, okay, all right, crank up the 5.4 double over a cam inside of this Black Navigator 2001. Yes. Now we can snatch that engine out, right? And put it inside something. Now, here's a dyno run on a Mustang with that same engine with a nice smorgasbord of performance parts. Let's see the dyno numbers. All right, you guys seen the dyno numbers. Good numbers, good numbers. But now let's estimate for a little bit. How much money did he spend to get those kind of numbers along with the dyno tune, along with using the dyno? How much did all of that cost? It was not $4,000. I am very sure of it, unless he has his own shop. Obviously, he probably doesn't have his own shop. You know what I mean? So, all right, moving along. Let's go ahead and go figure out a mild tune Mustang with the same engine with a little bit of performance parts, nothing but bolt-ons. And let's see what this does. Barely over 300 horsepower. Torque numbers are nice though, but it's 318. Now, these are gonna be realistic numbers that many of you guys are gonna end up having. You're gonna have the heavy torque numbers to move the mass, but you're not gonna have the horsepower on the top end with this motor. I had to opt out of getting engines, because I was gonna get the engines, but I was just like, you know what? Let me think this over a little bit. You know what I mean? Really sit back and think this over. So, now, Plan two, if you guys don't like this, we can get a 5.0 out of this. Take the complete wire harness out for the same price. ECU, this, that, and the third. Go get a T5 trans, slap it in, and make some power on some boost. So it really depends on what you guys want to see, what you want to feel, and what is your budget. Because we can get this to go fast very quickly versus the double overhead cam. But majority of you guys want to see the double overhead cam because of its aesthetics and the way it looks versus this. You guys are going to have to leave the comments below on this video here. But before we go, I'm going to throw in a dyno run. 302 again and see those numbers. And then we'll talk about that in the comments below all right we'll see you guys on the flip side
Okay, the car managed to make 317 horsepower and 349 pound-feet of torque, and that was with 110 leaded race fuel. All right, guys, our after pool with the 11R head in stage two cam, the car managed to put down an astonishing 363 horsepower and 376 pound-feet of torque.